The first question is, do you or your government seek the destruction of the state of Israel as a Jewish state? We love all nations. We are friends with the Jewish people. There are many Jews in Iran living peacefully with security. You must understand that in our constitution, in our laws, in, in the parliamentary elections, for every 150,000 people, we get one representative in the parliament. For the Jewish community, for one-fifth of this number, they still get one independent representative in the parliament. So our proposal to the Palestinian plight is a humanitarian and democratic proposal. What we say is that to solve this 60-year problem, we must allow the Palestinian people to decide about its future for itself. This is compatible with the spirit of the Charter of the United Nations and the fundamental principles enshrined in it. We must allow Jewish Palestinians, Muslim Palestinians, and Christian Palestinians to determine their own fate themselves through a free referendum. Whatever they choose as a nation, everybody should accept and respect. Nobody should interfere in the affairs of the Palestinian nation. Nobody should sow the seeds of discord. Nobody should spend tens of billions of dollars equipping and arming one group there. We have say, allow the Palestinian nation to decide its own future, to have the right to self-determination for itself. This is what we are saying as the Iranian nation. Mr. President, I think mem many members of our audience would be, uh, would like to hear uh, clearer answers to that question. That is, the question is, do you or your government seek the destruction of the state of Israel as a Jewish state? And I think you could answer that question with a single word, either yes or no. You ask the question and then you want the answer the way you want to hear it. Well, this isn't really a free flow of information. I'm just telling you where I, what my position is. I'm asking you, is the Palestinian issue not an international issue of prominence or not? Please tell me, yes or no? The answer, the plight of a the, people. The answer to your question is yes. Well, thank you for your cooperation. It is a, we recognize there's a problem there that's been going on for 60 years. Everybody provides a solution, and our solution is a free referendum. Let this referendum happen. And then you'll see what the results are. Let the people of Palestine freely choose what they want for their future. And then what you want in your mind to happen there will happen and will be realized. Which was posed by um, President Bollinger earlier and comes from a number of other students. Why is your government providing aid to terrorists? Will you stop doing so and permit international monitoring to certify that you have stopped. Well, I want to pose a question here to you. If someone comes and explodes bombs around you, threatens your president, members of the administration, kills the members of the Senate or Congress, how would you treat them? Would you award them or would you name them a terrorist group? Well, it's clear. You would call them a terrorist, my dear friends. The Iranian nation is a victim of terrorism.
For 26 years ago, where I work, close to where I work, in a terrorist operation, uh, the elected president of the Iranian nation and the elected prime minister of Iran lost their lives in a bomb explosion. They turned into ashes. A month later, in another terrorist operation, 72 members of our parliament and high ranking officials, including four ministers and eight deputy ministers' bodies were shattered into pieces as a result of terrorist attacks. Within six months, over 4,000 Iranians lost their lives, assassinated by terrorist groups. All this carried out by the hand of one single terrorist group. Regretfully, that same terrorist group now, today, in your country, is being sub operating under the support of the U.S. administration, working freely, distributing declarations freely, and their camps in Iraq are supported by the U.S. government. They are secured by the U.S. government. Our nation has been harmed by terrorist activities. We were the first nation that objected to terrorism and the first to uphold the need to fight terrorism. Mr. President, a number of questioners, sorry, a number of people have asked. We need to address the root causes of terrorism and eradicate those root causes. We live in the Middle East. For us, it's quite clear which powers sort of incite terrorists, support them, fund them. We know that our nation, the Iranian nation through history, has always extended a hand of friendship to other nations. We're a cultured nation. We don't need to resort to terrorism. We've been victims of terrorism ourselves. And it's regrettable that people who argue they're fighting terrorism, instead of supporting the Iranian people and nation, instead of fighting the terrorists that are attacking them, they're supporting the terrorists. And then turn the fingers to us. This is most regrettable.